Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes video. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing the new update and the first anniversary global uh, freebies that the game has recently announced. This will be, this will take effect actually tomorrow. So again, they have updated their cover very teasingly Janai fc with her you know similar similar dress to dorka um i presume i haven't seen the the, the full dress of uh, fc Janai. so happy anniversary for exos heroes global so again their logo for the first anniversary so you guys most of you guys have started um global one year ago I actually started a few days after Globus was launched to around June. So let's proceed to their freebies. So they will be giving us freebies for the event. So premium recruit is 77 times. So this will be um, 11 pulls times seven. So seven, seven days of 11 times free recruitment. Then we have here, I'm sorry, I actually passed it. We have seven days of login. So day one, you have 200 zest. Day two, you have gold, 500,000. Day three, you have book of experience. Day four, die coupon, 50. Day five, nation recruit tickets. Day six, zest, 500. And the one that we have been waiting for for such a long time. So it's global launch, first anniversary, Janai Fate Core. A new dress for Janai, a new skin, and everybody's excited to see how it looks the animations as well so again this is the seven day login here is your premium recruit 77 for seven days so 11 per day starting tomorrow and this will last for a week then the next would be your air squadron battle will be open again so we'll move to the store new package being released so I was actually a bit curious about the package because there is actually um, this one, the attendance pass for, this is for 14 days. So what is interesting here is the Black Fate Core Selection Ticket. Um, not really sure if this is worth it right now. It's only 700 zes. And, but for those who have lacking uh, Black Fate Cores, this is the way to go, if, especially if it's a good Black Fate Corp. This is actually kind of... I'm kind of 50-50 about this one. Um, the rest are more or less basic. It's mostly one time per account. And more or less, uh, you'll have to break the bank for this one. So I'll have a you know better understanding once this is released. But again, the attendance pass is actually what what caught my attention because this is the first time that they did this for set for 14 days let's move on to uh okay so let's move on to this one so the update itself we have we're going to we're going to have three pages so let's start with page one okay so for the update maintenance period May 26th, which is tomorrow, and it lasts for a short while. This is, I think, um, 18. So that is to 2 in the afternoon. That's 6. That's 8 hours, more or less, of updates. And more or less, we're accustomed to it. And more or less, there will be bugs in it. So I'm actually not looking forward to the, to the bugs, but to the update itself. This actually... Um, took me by surprise because I was not really expecting um, I was not expecting Naomi here I was expecting others to be here to be released for tomorrow and to my shock he is actually a gold fate core so Naomi actually became king became the patriarch of Brun, him, uh, Brun, Brun itself so more or less this is a shock to me. He's a gold fate core, and knowing gold fate core, which is not a general, <clears throat> and is actually um, Naomi is actually a, a lieutenant of Dorka. So more or less, 
my speculation for his skills because it's not indicated here it's only the exclusive weapon which i don't really like so again for the skills this will actually be dependent on Dorka, I'm sure. Similar to um, Janai and to FC Shell, FC Janai and FC Shell, FC Shell's skills will be tied to Dorka. So that is actually, I think, what will happen here. Again, I hate it that they don't put out the skills here because, again, I was supposed to decide whether I should pull with the Blue Fate Core, Rera, and, uh, and this one. So guys if you you know give me an advice please shall i hold my zest for naomi while i don't have why i don't see his skills or should i should should i pity the banner for rare because I, well, actually i was just holding my my zest off for 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 rara and decide once this fate core gold fate core or whatever came out so please put down in the comments below if i should wait and save my zest for naomi or pull on the rara blue fate core banner now before it expires by tomorrow okay so again same 28 core mileages um and 0 0.5 in terms of probability um don't want to delve more with uh, with him he doesn't have any skills so core memory will be added core memory theme group will be added after he comes out so arc burst update this is actually what you guys or we have been waiting for so arc it's now arc verse it's not arc burst not the b it's now called arc verse update so arc verse is a content where you can participate on one-on-one -on -one pv battles or real-time pvp and this will open or unlock after chapter four episode four so okay in order to access Arc Verse, a total of 40 or more heroes must be retained, including 20 front row and 20 rear row heroes. Okay, there is actually a qualifier. If you're new, guys, you must take note of this. So, episode 4, uh, chapter 4, episode 4 must be unlocked, and the qualifiers for the number of heroes should be retained. Okay, so Arc, Arc Verse will proceed in three stages matching team formation and combat so we'll go straight to we'll go straight to what i saw here in terms of in terms of uh, these are just um samples of team formation um of the user interface but this is what what we want to look at so the team formation process is actually this the so sequence one first round of prob prob prohibited hero selection so user A, first player, select three prohibited heroes so you can slash out other heroes. B, slash out three as well. Then by number two, so num uh, user B goes first with select one team hero. Then vice versa, uh, A, B, and A. Then for round six, you also have to prohibit two other heroes so start with again with a then b then the selection will start with a b and a so again there are two rounds of two rounds of prohibition and two rounds of selection which is actually interesting because again um this will be tricky because there are a lot of prohibited units so more or less that is around 10 so if you're going to prohibit three five on user a and five on user b that's around 10. so again this is actually going to be exciting because your team building and strategy here comes into play already because and also this doesn't have auto you know auto play you will have to play this on your own so this is actually a good way and see how how the players um you know um how the players use their skill or how they implement their skill and strategy based on this one so combat auto battle is not supported again but in arc burst and action must be determined within the turn time limit if the turn time is exhausted the action will be determined automatically according to the certain conditions in arc verse the final battleground effect will be applied to all the heroes final battleground effect gains 30 attack loses 70 defense for every 10 rounds okay so 
uh, you become a glass cannon, so to speak, with this one. So um, deal more damage and take more damage. So that is actually, in short, what they'll be doing with Arcburst. So the user who knocked down all heroes to the point first will win. If you deviate from the course of battle, the game will be dealt as a defeat. Arcburst score in tier. In Arcverse, you can earn or lose Arcverse points depending on your win or defeat or earn more than a certain amount of point, the Arcverse tier will be raised. In the start of the new season, Arcverse, the first 10 matches will be played in a tier placement match. In tier placement, the first tier of the season will be determined by the results of the 10 matches. Okay, Arcverse season will be released based on the seasonal system, blah, blah, blah. But basically, this release will be pre-season. So let's try to test this out, guys. Let's not... Let's give it a go, um, uh, report any bugs, and hopefully they could put out the season as soon as possible, probably after two weeks, after a month, I hope so soon. Um, Infinity Core, hello. <laughs> it hasn't been released yet into a season, so it's still pre-season, but Arcverse hopefully doesn't repeat that mistake. So let's go to... So what we have here is Village Call Flare update. So it's just a flare on calling heroes. Uh, go to the village of the airship, call up to 10 heroes, and pose for a class picture, graduating class of 2021. So they've been through the pandemic, so they're here. Then you call the heroes. Okay, move around for you. That's just it. Aesthetic. New hero, new hero fate core appearance notice function update. So again, this was teased already three days before it it, it will start. Um, so notice will only appear where, while you're online. Okay, battle <coughs> battle UI account buff info update. So again, you will get to see your account buffs and how it's being applied. Um, battle UI. Okay, if you touch the account, well, okay. So yeah. Um, so so value I total damage and stack skill bar involvement. The function shows the total damage from here's attack will be added. Uh, blah 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 blah. I'll have to see how this is going to work or how this is going to look. Um, in terms of the actual gameplay, signature force new enhancement stage will be open from this app update. Stories Republic and Bronze Nation Fourth. Enhancement of stage 3 will be opened. Okay, so we will have Signature Force for a Storage Republic. Which I'm actually excited because I'm building a storage right now. So more or less more Signature Force to look forward to. Help modification. Blah, blah, blah. Daily quest reduce the number of battles in... Battle missions in the daily quest battles. There are a lot. There are a total of two battles in e two battles in each battle. Okay. After this update, there were only one battle in each battle mission. Okay. So consider it very considerate. Eternal bond. So I've had. I've seen a lot of questions. Uh, sorry, I've seen a lot of comments already with this one. The hero bond. This is going to be. Uh, sorry, the eternal bond. This is going to be Iris and Radley. And I've had comments that people are wishing that these were generals. To be honest, me too. I wish that they would continue the generals and rotate them in a pair. But I guess they're going into a different direction. But this would actually, you know, this would actually benefit new beginners. Beginners will really benefit from this because you have here FC Redley or FC Iris for free, which they can really use. So again. For the advanced players, this is actually not that good. But for beginners, for mid-game players who haven't had these units, this is actually very, very good. It depends if you're advanced or if a beginner. So for me, I'm still going to pick Iris because I haven't had her. I, I think I have her at Fusion 3. Oh, sorry, Fusion 2. I'm going to take her to Fusion 3 if I get her. And away we go with the next one. 
Okay, so we ha we're here at Air Squadron Hideout. Extend object activation period. So we have extended period of glow of the Air Squadron's hideout object activation time according to the progress of the Air Squadron battle and the Air Squadron raid. Okay. Air Squadron announcement and board max air expansion. Yeah, expected. Unleash potential modification of circle exchange button condition. Um, I have to see this. Here's challenge filter function added. Very good. As I said, Air Squadron Battle will be open period June 6th to July 4th. So these are in rewards through the Air Squadron activities. So that basic hero battle update. The best pugilist and machine design in Exos Duncan. Okay, hero battle would be Duncan. Okay. You Pierce Labyrinth again. Um, it's a good that, 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 that they're resetting already. Um, Exos Pass is actually here as well. So Exos Pass about to begin. Challenge a variety of missions. Period. What is Exos Pass? Okay. We all know what Exos Pass is. So pass battle, basic mission, Exos Pass rewards. And monthly season mission with reset as well. So here we go, uh, another reset. <coughs> cumulative payment event, June's cumulative payment event with Legend of Genie of the Lamp Cybel will begin. So Cybel's FC, Orange FC will be paywall. So, well, she she was she was designed very good, but I guess a lot of people would skip this. So more or less, she will be available in the cumulative payment event. Okay, so Choice Forge event. Uh, you can first stack after it's got it. 200 zest, okay. But the Forge is actually not, not that good. Um, um, again, it needs a rework. Uh, it needs something, you know, uh, splashier than what it is now. If it's just discount of 200 zest uh, for the first one. I don't think it's that, you know, that's that exciting anymore. Bug fixes, world dispatch, complete report, completed report battle. Okay, so um, my thoughts. Okay, so my thoughts would be I'm only excited for this because of Arcverse. Arcverse, Arc not Arcverse. Okay, Arcverse. This is actually very exciting, um, very good content, um, banning of heroes, and getting the community um, creative in terms of PvP. So, the Ben Studio will there will be there, and Arcverse will be will accompany it. And again, we need another, we need more content, guys. Um, this is actually a good start to the first year anniversary, but again, I expect more from you, especially if you want you know people to love you your community to love you the art is great the fcs are great but what is better or what is the best option is to roll out more content and better content quality content as well okay so guys this is it for my review so it took me quite long um to have this review very because it's with the first anniversary and with an update so more or less, I wish you enjoy and um, enjoy this, uh, what do you call this? Enjoy this update, the first year global anniversary. And probably we'll have more details on FC Naomi on another video. I'm just waiting for Exos to have their update with Naomi. And that is it for me, guys. Um, thank you for staying this long in this video. And while you're here, please consider to subscribe to my channel because I noticed that around 79% of my viewers have not subscribed yet. So this helps me a lot and my channel. And guys, take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden. And I'm out of here. Happy anniversary, Global Exo Zero.